What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with another movie reaction. Now, I do want to let you guys know right off the start that this is sort of a one off special movie kind of thing. Now, our movie reactions normally on Sundays will be coming back to full time schedule this Sunday. So don't be afraid about that. We're going to have at least one movie every single week. I just had to do this because this is canonically after season one and before season two. And I, with having just watched a recap and re watching some of the episodes, like a week or two ago i know how important this movie is i have not seen it yet i am very very excited so i need to get through this before i can get through season two and i'm very ner i know i said i'm excited but i'm nervous at the same time because bondrude is something something else so i don't know specifically when but some of you guys are aware i did react to season one of made in abyss but some of them got taken down so i had to take them all down so i will be re-uploading those sometime in the near future so look out for that but if you guys want the full uncut reaction of this movie unedited, go check out that Patreon down below. Links are always there for you. Um, you're going to be able to watch the full length uncut of All Made in Abyss Season 2 and 1 over there as well. But don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. I think this is called Deep Dawn of the Soul. Completely incorrect on me. It is Made in Abyss Dawn of the Deep Soul. So I say we hop right on into this. I'm very, very excited. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I know I am going to. Let's do this. So if we're leaving off exactly where we were at the end of season one, we're descending from layer four down to layer five. Which layer four? Yep, the goblets of giants, right? I can see some of those in the background. Oh my God. The garden of the flowers of fortitude. This show, I don't want to pause it. This show scratches my itch of like those dungeon. Oh, this is where Liza's funeral grave was when he had that partial memory. This is where this movie or show scratches my itch of like dungeon explorer based games, but does it in a realistic way where I'm like, okay, this is dangerous as shit. I'll keep this in the video games. I never want to do this. Oh, that is a great disguise. It really looks like a leaf. That is scary as shit. It's like a stick bug. Except it's a leaf bug. What is it? You... Oh. They're moon whistles? I was wondering because Rico's note said the sixth layer, but we're definitely probably not even now. We're descending to the fifth layer. So I'm curious why they're here. But like I said before, this show is the perfect balance of saying, oh, like your dungeon explorer type games. Like that shit is really fun. But when you die, there's no respawning in this world. Like it, I literally have goosebumps because I hate bugs. Oh my God. But like that is. One of the worst day, one of the worst ways I'm ever gonna die is that right there. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm all for protecting wildlife and stuff like that, but when it comes to these bugs, fuck them, burn them to the ground. I don't like that. Yep, that's where you have to find a balance. Yep, pride as a delver, a decent person would do. You have to keep sight of your goal individually. I love that. It is. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Especially knowing that Liza loved this. She kept that grave there, you know. I don't like how we, they're waiting for us. I don't like that at all. But... Yep. I am so excited but nervous at the same time for this show. This is one of those where the stakes are... Hmm. This is one of those shows where it's surprising that Liza, if she even is alive, don't get... I would not be shocked if we went down there in some crazy... Oh my god. This is probably one of the highest stakes shows for me watching right now. Uh, other than like something like Stranger Things where it's like... Yeah, I'd say even more so than Stranger Things, because this, I really, like, Rico and Reg, sadly, 
I could totally picturing them not being alive by the end of the show. Like I could, and it's so sad to think about that. Nanachi as well. Like this show is crazy. That's the scary part. No matter what they be, you have to push through it. Ooh, the dawn of the deep soul. That was a bar by Liza. That was a bar into the title of the movie. I, I kind of got goosebumps right now. The Sea of Corpses? That's the name of it? Are you serious? This is what the idol front looks like? This place looks so badass. We have another young person here? Someone not robotic and scary as shit? Oh, are you Papa's guest? I doubt she's actually Bondrude's daughter, but... I mean, we know this motherfucker used, used adopt orphanaged kids like nobody's business. I said orphanaged, orphaned kids. Alright, give me your name. Rushka. I won't lie, they look badass as all hell. I definitely recognize Bondrude's voice actor as well. Really? So Rico might not even be able to use... Oh, huh. yeah, I don't remember that. So if our life insignias are different, hmm. See, it's so weird how well he treats his daughter, but look at Nanachi, you know? I'm not staying here a minute longer than I have to, I'm sorry. Not a single chance. I love the complexity and the designs of each individual White Whistle, though. They're made with that life stone, so only they could use it. Look at Bondrude's, how it looks like two hands like this. Like, the designs are so sick. I love that, like, purple glow, though. Like, that you know, looks so cool. God damn it, man. Oh, no. I'm nervous of her going up there, but with Reg and Nanachi missing... Especially what what happened with Nanachi after Mitty was missing. Is there a way in which we can go up slow enough to where it doesn't affect us? Like I would be laying down crawling a step like every minute or something. Blood. Is that a piece of our tooth? Really? Yeah, she lost the tooth. Oh, I can totally picture that. You just not good, good. Oh, ooh. man, this is abyss thing, man. I tell you. Mania. What the hell? We can, like, smell Mania's pheromones. Is he trying to look out for Reg and Rico, unlike, you know, like, Mitty? Because maybe if she stays and works with Bondrew, he'll be able to let them go through. Yep. She's sacrificing herself, just like Mitty sacrificed herself for Nanachi. Oh, 
I mean, he's so scared he's peeing, which I can't blame him. What the fuck? He's going to see Reg's arm cut off, and he's like, N oh, my God. Oh, this is so dark. Okay, good. It was Reg getting him the hell out of here. Will you be my friend still? Aw. She's so isolated living down here with these fucking weirdos, never seeing the surface, never having friends. I like her. She's a nice little girl. You seem so much more knowledgeable about this fifth layer. If we could somehow convince you to leave your deranged dad and come with us, you are more than welcome, Prushka. Oh, we're blaze reaping them. That's why he said he smelled under netherworld stew. <laughs> Is fucking Bondrood gonna die? He seemed pretty, like, non threatened by that. If. If Bondrood walks out of this, I guess I shouldn't be shocked. White Whistles are supposed to have an untold amount of, like, whatever highest grade relics they have, right? There's a reason this dude's a White Whistle, you know? Reg is quick with it. So is Bondrood. So is Reg. Reg really is nice with it. That's true. The instant cold with the instant hot. Really? I would say R.I.P. Bondrood. But one, he's not even dead. And two, I would never want him to rest in peace. I did not think we would do this to Bondrood. I feel horrible for Reg 2 forcing him to do this to someone. Prushka seeing her dad. This is horrible. Don't get me wrong. What we just did to that man was cruel. It was horrible. That man deserves that a hundred times over. Sadly, you know, he's done this to countless people. Bro, what the fuck? I am literally shocked beyond words. Instead of the curse, the only successful instance of this. I was so shocked that we beat Bondrood and what we did to him. Only for them to reverse Uno card me in my ass. Nah, uh, I don't... So this is the trial for the ultimate love 
for and then he's gonna do this try to create another hollow like nanachi that's adorable that is amazing like prushka says but like why do they have to show me such wholesome awesomeness you know just and then hit me with this pure dark depression that's what i could tell she wanted a friend How can you not be brooding and just depressed in a situation like this? I am... That's a good question. Reg doesn't look like he has amnesia. He looks like he's back to previous Reg before we knew him in season one. Like Liza's Reg. Oh my god. Is that why? Are you serious? Are you serious? あし。正直面の環境下でも君の中枢力や感受性は一切衰えませんでしたね。are you serious i mean that sounds no it sounds dope you're right but i don't it's like a it's like a philosopher's stone from full metal you know really that's crazy so he technically would be if he still could. The buying time plan worked. There goes his arm. What the fuck is Demon Reg? He's like nine tail form Naruto right now. I'm saying. Okay, Ghosh from Black Clover? What the? Subarashi. What the fuck is this movie? It's like a weighted web, so it really immobilizes you no matter what you do. Reg can do this? Like the demon came out of his eye and he's back to normal. What is going on? What is he, the avatar? What are those previous users of fucking all for one? One for all? He's in the controlled area where Nanachi and Midi were. Those are all fucking kids. 
He's naming all the kids. He still remembers their names. What the fuck is Bondrude? What is he? Now that Reg's not in demon form, Bondrude outmatches him like crazy. I like that. He gets his in the ground, starts whipping it like crazy, so he has like a buildup of momentum and just whirlpools of his arm around him. That was fucking dope. We got a little we got a little reg mini training arc because of that body inhabitant. I'm so curious. He's ascending from the six technically. Bondrood is gonna lose his humanity. He's really cool with ascending that fast. Those cartridges are fucking horrible. I won't lie, that animation was crisp. How many cartridges has he used? He might. Oh my god, my man is hollowed up. If he says Prushka, I'm blue skidooing, we can tooing, and I'm beating his ass. <sighs> it is very rare that I add people onto the list of fathers on the level of Shao Tucker. And Bondrude is there. Bondrude is officially number two on that list. What the fuck is this movie? This is probably one of the most fucked up movies I've ever seen. I thought Prushka had a sad life when she was just born a normal girl in here and hadn't experienced the surface. But holy shit, did I not realize it was like this. This is beyond fucked up. Oh. My. God. Like. Don't get me wrong. I love this. But why do you need to show me this? Just to make it hurt more. I don't need to, you know, it's like, I'm already hurting enough. She got to live vicariously through them for a little bit. Bro, that is so sad. Rico shot it with his arm. With Prushka talking in the background. Oh my god. This is so sad, man. It's all he needs. I think deep down, Reg's a furry. I think he'll be okay. I think he just passed out. Yeah, I'm with Rico, man. I'd be so depressed. <sighs> I sure hope so. 
Oh, heavens no. Normally, I would, even with villains who are saying nice things like this at the end, I'd be like, I respect, no, fuck Bondrude, wholeheartedly. This shit is literally disgusting, but like not in like a gross way. It's like disgusting that, bon like I'm disgusted at Bondrude, like that humanity can even become this way, you know? Is that the whistle? Is that Bondrude's whistle? Looks like, is that her heart? Is that the tone? A life reverberating stone for real made with a human. That was Prushka. She was thinking about that for her father the entire time. My pain is your strength. Same way Midi was to Nanachi. In the most sad, depressing way ever. This is one of the, the, the blessings of the abyss, you know? I firmly agree with that. I feel like... Bro. Oh my god. Our white whistle is like Purushka's heart. Oh my god. This show is on a different level of just something else. It's another one of his hands who took over. Oh, I'm so glad we're bringing Mania with us. R.I.P. Prushka, man. We're doing our last dive into the sixth layer. Tell me why I was excited for season two, but I'm ten times more excited now. And scared. That's the end. Oh my god, hi. I want to go hug my family. Alright, I... Don't even know where to begin with this movie, if I'm being honest with you. This was a roller coaster of emotions. I won't lie, at the very beginning, like the first quarter of this movie, I was like 95% excited, 5% nervous, because like the kid in me, like the Rico, the Reg in me, wants to see this abyss and to see these new creatures, these, this new wildlife, these new relics. There's like, I have such a na natural curiosity and I'm with, I, I, like, I don't even know how to fucking phrase the words I want to phrase, but if there was an option for me to live in Orth and probably be a Delver and experience this abyss, I'm not going to lie, I probably would do it, even though how dangerous it is, but I started out 95, excited, 5, nervous, but about halfway through, that flipped exactly the opposite. I was about 95, nervous, 5, excited. As soon as Reg's arm got cut off at the very beginning, I was like, oh, this is going to be different. And then Prushka, I was praying to God Prushka was going to join us somehow. We were going to convince her Bondru was horrible and she would join us on our mission and be an amazing addition to the team. But oh my God, was it so, so, so much worse. Like, the whole flashback of her growing up made it so much worse. Oh my god. Her being, like, what's his name? One of the umber hands was like, it was probably better if we just put her out of her out of her misery. You know, she's lit. Oh my, I can't even think about that. And then when she was, like, not forced to grow up, but when she was forced to grow up under these conditions, and then was given mania, and then mania went upstairs, and then she went through it like that, you know, just for all, just for what happened to her not only that that's horrible don't get me wrong but for her to be so compassionate and to be so loving even in her lap even literally as she's just a lump of flesh with a soul like oh my god there's a whole lot to talk about if i'm honest with you we have i think the official name of reg 
and we got to see like a teaser of someone else, like a different type of reg. He is the Albade, an Albade. Okay, well, speaking of an Albade, I have to first say, like, I was thoroughly impressed with Ozen the Immovable. Immovable, you know, obviously she's brawlic, she's something else. But my man, Bondrood, when it came to a Sparagmos, he had the darts that could make you experience the, the, the third level. He had the, the spider web stickiness that he could use for mobility. He had his fucking Zoaholic, whatever that was called, that could, he was immortal. Like, I mean, it really goes to show that these people are white whistles for a reason. Oh my God. Don't even get me started on the whole concept of white whistles. Like, I, I like that they're this life reverberating stone that only can relate to the person who it's made for. I really thoroughly enjoy that. Not even Liza's would work with her daughter, but it's like the way that they're made in ours now, I'm never not going to think of Prushka when I see it. And it's going to make me instantly butthurt. Like, not in like a bad way. Like, I don't want to watch the show, but in a great way. Like, it's like, it, it's done so well. Like, oh, it's, oh my God, it's going to be depressing. Like, we're always going to be thinking about Prushka, but only like, the goodness about her like how she wants us to continue on like it's kind of like midi like mitty during the finale and during season one i looked on you know so negatively like this is horrible and this is so sad this is everything like, i hate about bondrude and, and humanity but then you know you think about just the pure compassion and the love from mitty to nanachi and it's like you have to think of that too, you know, like the will of theirs would like you to keep going and they wouldn't want you to be all depressed and stuff like this. It's so deep. It's so crazy. And I don't know, man. I got to say the fifth layer. Super. I love the design, how it's getting like barren and depressing, how you have the, the water basins, you have the sandstone region. It really feels like a vertical Minecraft. Like instead of going out there and exploring the plains and finding new lands, you just go straight down like and I know it's coming out, which makes me excited. I don't think it's coming out for fall, but there's a Made in Abyss video game coming out. I already saw it on Steam, and oh my god, do I want to get it so bad. It's going to be like a... I hope it's going to be like a Monster Hunter World, like, exploration style, you know, which I'm so excited for. I'm so down. But I love the sandstone, the basins, the, the crystallized water, the creatures, the water. Oh my god, the water creatures? Horrifying. Oh my god, I got... The insects from the fifth layer that were actually from the sixth layer that came up to the fifth. Like, oh my God, that was horrifyingly scary. This was a depressing, sad, dark, horrifying, amazing movie. I had to say that last one because it was amazing. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Much, much appreciated. Check out the full uncut over at Patreon. Look out for season two. Look out. I don't fucking know. This shit was good. I love you. Literally. Make sure you guys drink some water. Hug someone. You guys have a cat. You guys have a dog. You guys have a loved one near you. Hug them. Tell them you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.